We are right now working on a 2014 Volkswagen Jetta with a 2.0 liter TDI. It is a CJA letter coated engine and it had a map sensor trouble code and an associated glow plug light flashing along with uh, lack of power. And uh, the map sensor is located down there in that area. It is on this tube right here that we have removed from the bottom. It fits about right here. And we did some diagnosing. Oh, this is our trouble code that we had. Switch positions with me there, Bob. Mm -hmm. And this is our trouble code P0238. Map sensor signal too high. And we made some tests at the map sensor which was very difficult to do because that's in a tough spot. Uh, but what we came to the conclusion of is the map sensor was working. We substituted a signal onto the wire and we could not see the map sensor reading in the um, scan tool changing. Uh, we did that sig signal substitution with a uh, potentiometer like this. Bob found the cause of this problem within like five minutes of working on this car. It took us a lot longer to find the actual problem, but tell them what you found, Bob. Well, I noticed that the fan was cutting into the uh, breather box, and that made me want to examine it a little bit further. And what I noticed was the radiator is, just seems to be free-floating. Both of the mounts on each side are not attached. Well, I noticed that the radiator hose was getting ready to be cut by the fan because, see, we go from a minimal distance to almost no clearance at all. Okay, so... Bob did a real good job of finding this, and uh, I wasn't sure the problem was there. Honestly, we thought it was the map sensor itself for a while until we substituted a signal on it, and that didn't change anything in the data groups. But uh, the wire snakes around and goes through there and goes through there, and it ends up at this connector right here, which uh, snaps onto the front of the transmission cover, the front pan that covers the mechatronic assembly. This is a DSG transmission. And then, but uh, this is the purple wire in question. And you can see there it's broken completely. It had rubbed the fan just barely and uh, cut through the harness covering and cut through that wire. This would have made a nice diagnosis video, but I just don't have the time. Um, obviously all stemming from the radiator not being mounted in there. On this here Jetta, buy some cheap coilovers and springs, they said. It'll be fun. Our customer's complaint today is there's a noise from the front end. That's a little bit ridiculous. And then this side, of course, the shock is leaking like crazy. Here we have a 2013 Volkswagen Jetta TDI. It is a um, CJA letter coated engine. And we run across something new we haven't seen before. Uh, on this pulley here, we took this pulley off for some random reason. You don't have to take the pulley off during the timing belt job. But when we took the pulley off, this was broken. Now it had just a simple crack in it, probably that crack right there. And it had separated from the pulley. Now, after I pulled it off and I handled it a while, I dropped it and it just completely shattered. So it's now in several pieces. But that, it was loose on here and cracked. And this is a replacement one. There's the part number if you need it. And I'm going to sit the camera down for a second. And here is, of course, what it should look like. Part numbers on this part, the plastic part there also. I thought I could buy just the plastic part, but when I quoted the part it was uh, the whole pulley. Now I was very tempted to just throw this stuff away and try it without that plastic. I have no idea what the plastic does. Um, it really kind of seems like it latches on right there. It might be glued in place also but it latches on right there and um, I don't know why it's there but we wanted to make it right. It wasn't an expensive part at about $89 or something, but uh, you might expect if you're doing a timing belt job on that that you might have to buy one of these pulleys if you want to put this back together the way it's supposed to be. Now I want to forewarn folks if you're using a commonly used counter hold tool like this and you're going inside these holes, 
you have the potential to break that plastic or knock it loose. Uh, but I can tell you right now, I was doing this time and belt job myself, and I did not use a counter hold tool on it at all. So uh, the only time we used a counter hold tool on this job was when we took this center bolt out, which was well after we had already found this cracked and uh, completely separated from the pulley. Now, of course, I dropped it and it cracked into a million pieces at that point, but I uh, just thought I'd share that with you for informational purposes. If you learned anything from this video, visit my website at www. We are working on a 2002 Volkswagen Eurovan and we're doing some brake work on it. The brake warning light was on and you can see here on the front pads, it's wearing into the sensor right there and right there. The rear on this car also has sensors and this is the rear and if you notice there's an unusual step in the brake pad right there. You can see it is rubbing the wear sensor right there, not worn through it, but this customer has noticed he goes through brakes in the back really fast and it rubs into the sensor and uh, it will eventually cut it much sooner than it should. And the reason why is because this vehicle has 16 inch wheels and it's got the rotors on it for 15 inch wheels. The uh, rotors are a different size. I'll probably put the uh, measurement of the rotors on the screen here but uh, if you see here I have the edge of this rotor lined up right there and it's about that much short and that makes a wear step that makes a wear step about like that so be careful when you order rotors at some point in this car's life somebody has ordered rotors and got them for the smaller wheels and um, but basically compare all parts before you put them on make sure they match because this obviously works and stops the car but it probably doesn't stop as well as it should and obviously it wears the brake pads out sooner than it should so we got the right size rotors here and we'll be putting this back together and hopefully it'll be better than it was before if you like this video or learned anything from it click the like button and if you want to contribute to the continued production of these videos find the donate icon on my website at www.kansascitytdi.com and please do me a favor don't call me for tech help post your questions in the comments down below and if you want to watch some more of my videos there's one right there and one right there and don't forget to subscribe <laughs>